What's going on guys, it's your boy Jho bringing you a brand new video and today we're gonna take a look at Zer for week number 32. So Zer's down here in the hangar and uh, they put him down here probably because of this jukebox over here which is pretty cool. Nice little add-on to the new patch that came out this week. So here he is in the corner and let's see what he has. If I am here. So here's Zer's inventory for the weekend. Starting off with the Titan, we have the Helm of Inmost Light. It has reduced melee cooldown when you pick up an orb, provides death from above, and headstrong for Fist of Havoc, and increased melee attack speed. Mainly a Crucible helmet for the Titan, but um, I wouldn't say this is one of the better exotic helmets for the Titan. There are better ones like Helm of Saint 14 and... Uh, better exotics like armamentarium and stuff like that so if you don't need this helmet to get to 32 or something i'd go ahead and pass for a different exotic for the hunter we have the radiant dance machines carry more ammo for heavy weapons and you move more quickly while aiming your weapon i use this sometimes in crucible on my hunter and it does help a little bit if you um like strafing a lot but it's not like the best exotic for a hunter so if you want to try it out you can go ahead and do so it's pretty cool has a nice design on it as well looks cool when you wear it but other than that it's not like an amazing exotic that you need for the warlock we have the void fang vestments and it has enhanced axiom bolt spawn with grenade energy carry more ammo for hand cannons and special weapons so this one is pretty good for crucible especially for warlocks i like using it you can even use it with the sun singer subclass and just spawn with two fusion grenades because fusion grenades are really really powerful in crucible so you can do that as well you don't need to use void walker to utilize this exotic to its fullest and then for the gun we have the last word hand cannon bonus damage and stability extra precision damage when firing from the hip and this weapon has bonus accuracy while firing from the hip really good hand cannon if you guys like playing crucible a lot i recommend this 100 percent really good especially with trials of osiris coming up in the new dlc house of wolves in about a month i'd recommend picking this up and trying it out to prepare for crucible and then of course for the upgrading we have for hunter Knucklehead Radar and a Symbiote. I recommend Symbiote because it's really good. Gives you an extra golden gun shot and I like that a lot. For the Titan we have Alpha Loopy and Armamentarium. I recommend Armamentarium because it has extra grenades and that's always good. And you can use it for either subclass as well so that's always good. And then for the Warlock we have Heart of Praxic Fire and Sunbreakers. I think Praxic Fire is one of the best exotics for Warlocks so I'd recommend that one. For the guns, we have Hard Light, Suros Regime, a Red Death, Thorn, Plan C, and Patience and Time. Uh, the best ones here are Red Death and Thorn. Those are two really good guns in the Crucible right now. And then next after that is Suros Regime, which is still a pretty decent auto rifle. And then Plan C, Patience and Time, really good arc weapons. And then Hard Light. And according to the patch notes for 1.1.2, it looks like Zer will always have heavy ammo synthesis for sale from now on so it shouldn't be a problem of not having synthesis because now he's selling it all the time so that's really good. So that's about it for this week, week 32. Thank you guys for watching as always. Stay tuned for more videos. Like, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.